Hello everybody, uh, welcome to today's channel. So um, today's topic is how does Google search or use its uh, search algorithm to search for stuff? And we're going to uh, look into this article, how Google uses artificial intelligence in Google search and uh, neural matching using BERT and MUM. So let's get into that. Uh, this uh, video is for anyone who is into data science or if you're just you know browsing and looking at how you have questions to uh, you know ask how does Google do this searches this doc this video will help to better understand the technical details as Google continues to leverage more artificial intelligence in machine learning in Google search, one may wonder in what ways does AI and machine learning help Google search perform its daily task. Since 2015, when Google introduced its first AI into search name RankBrain, Google has continued to deploy AI systems to better understand language and thus improve the search results Google presents to its searches. Several months ago, we sent Google a number of uh, questions around how Google uses its AI in search, including RankBrain, Neural Matching, BERT, and Google's latest AI breakthrough, MUM. Uh, these are the algorithms that, uh, that Google has defined, and uh, this is for AI sci data scientists that, that implement these algorithms. So they've come up with more than an understanding of when Google uses AI, which AI does what in Google search, how these various AI algorithms may work together, how they have changed over the years, and what, if anything, search marketers need to know when it comes to how Google uses AI in search. See, this is a very important topic, because if you're promoting a product, you need to understand the back end and the front end, how Google uses your product searches in displaying your product to your customers, potential customers. So it's very, very crucial you understand this piece of knowledge. Speaking with Danny Sullivan, the public liaison for Google Search, to help with the answers of to many of these questions, in short, rank brain, neural matching, and BERT are used in Google's ranking systems across many, if not most, queries and look at understanding the language of both the query and content it is ranking. However, MUM is not currently used for ranking purposes, which is the other algorithm. It is currently used only for COVID vaccine naming powers or later searches, videos, results. It starts by writing content for humans. Okay, so this is uh, something else. Uh, you hear it all the time um, from Google representatives and from many SEOs, write content for humans. So what is writing content for humans, basically? Let's get into that. In, in the older days of SEO, when the algorithms were maybe simpler, you would have many SEOs, uh, data engineers, or just SEO uh, consultants who would craft content for each and every search engine back then when they were dozens of different search engines. So there's a program, SEO search engine, basically, and they have many different programs. And it, it, lists, it has a list of all the search engines, and then you tell which word you wanna uh, promote, and you enter that in the program, and you press run, and then it sends out that word to all the search engines to promote it in, in the first page and so forth. It's a very straightforward program. Uh, I used to have one of them, but like my, my program um, then is just like it's discontinued because Google changed its search uh, parameters. Now there is primary Google with a little bit of Bing and some ruffling from Duck, Duck Go. But the algorithms are much more complex, and with machine learning and AI, the algorithms understand language more like a human would understand language. So the advice Google has given is right for humans. And that you can't optimize your site for BERT or any AI. If you write content that humans understand, then it's probably the algorithms and AI search engines will also adapt and understand it. That's scary. Uh, this article is not aimed at uh, telling you the technical details or give you the details about SEO, but it's just uh, how to optimize your sites for any specific AI, rather to communicate how Google uses AI in Google search. 
overview of AI used in Google search. Rank Brain, it starts with Rank Brain. Google's first attempt at using AI dates back to 2015. Google told uh, Rank Brain helps Google understand how words are related to concepts and can take a broad query and better define how that query relates to real world concepts. While it launched in 2015 and was used in 15% of queries, Google said it is now 2022, widely used in many queries and in all languages and regions. RankBrain does specifically help Google rank search results and it's part of a ranking algorithm. Here's an example provided by Google of how RankBrain is used. If you search for what the title of the consumer at the highest level of food chain, Google's system learned from seeing those words in various pages that concept of a food chain may have to do with animals and not human consumers. By understanding and matching these words and their related concept, RankBrain helps Google understand that you are looking for what's commonly referred to as an apex predator, basically. Neural matching. What is neural matching? Was the next AI Google released from for search. It was released in 2018, then expanded to local search results in 2019. In fact, we have an article explaining the differences between rank brain, neural matching, and so forth. Google told neural matching helps Google understand how queries relate to pages by looking at the entire query and content on the page and understand within the context of that page or query. Today, neural matching is used in many, if not most, queries of, for all languages, in you know, all regions, across most verticals of search. Neural matching does specifically help Google rank search results and is part of a ranking algorithm. So neural uh, uh, AI is also inside. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very um, deep topic, and uh, I, I will be making f future videos on neural networks. Here's an example provided by Google on how neural matching is used. If you search for insights on how to ma manage or green, uh, for example, Google said, if a friend asks you this, but if a friend asks you, you'll probably be stumped. By neural matching, we're able to make sense of this quizzical search by looking at the broader representations of concepts in the query, management, leadership, personality, and more neural matching can decipher that this searcher is looking for management tips based on popular color-based personality guide. Now I'm going to talk about BERT. Uh, what it is is basically uh, under Google understands how combinations of words expresses different meanings and intents, including looking at sequences of words on a page. So if even seemingly unimportant words in your queries are accounted for. When BERT is launched, it is was used 10% of all English queries, but expanded to more languages and used in almost all English queries earlier on. Today, it is used in most queries and supported by all languages. BERT does specifically help Google rank search results and is part of the ranking algorithm. So this is what ranks each query. Google told us mum, mum is another uh, algorithm, helps Google not just with understanding languages, but also generating languages. So it can be used to understand variations in new forms and languages. Mum is not used for ranking purposes right now in Google search, but supports all languages and regions. Currently, MUM is used to improve searches in COVID-19 vaccine for Google. It said it's looking forward to offering more intuitive ways to searching using a combination, both text and images in Google Lens. And in the coming months, AI is used together in search, but may be specialized for search verticals. Danny Sullivan from Google explained, while these are individual AI-based algorithms, they often work together to help ranking understand the same query. Google told us that these AI systems are used to understand language, including query and potentially relevant results, adding that they are not designed to act isolation to analyze just a query or a page. Previously, it may have not been assumed and as understood that one AI system may have looked more at understanding the query and not. 
in the content on page, but this is not the case, at least not in 2022. Google also confirmed that in 2022, rank brain, neural matching, BERT are used globally in all languages Google search operates in. And when it comes to web searches versus local search versus images, so see, then you get into like all the social media content. Shopping and other verticals, Google explained the rank brain neural matching and BERT are used for web search. Other modes of verticals of Google's search, such as images or shopping mode, use separate specialized AI system. So they have a special uh, algorithm just for uh, shopping uh, because it's a very uh, advanced and, and hyper fast system, which is more advanced than your regular search. Because for your regular Google search, they're not getting paid, or they are, but like, uh, some searches are just content knowledge base, but for shopping, you, they are getting paid. So every search that they search in the shopping, somebody's, some advertiser or someone in the chain is getting paid. What about core updates and AI? As explained above, Google uses rank brain neural matches and BERT in most queries you enter into Google search, but Google also has core updates. The Google broad core updates that Google rolls out few times per year is often noticed by site owners, publishers, SEOs more than when Google releases these larger AI-based systems. But Google said all these can work together with core updates. Google said three, rank brain, neural matching, and BERT are the larger AI systems that have, but have many AI systems within search and some within the core updates that Google rolls out. Google told us they do have other machine learning in Google search. Rank brain, neural matching, and BERT are just one of the more powerful prominent systems. And there are other AI elements. Well, uh, I hope you've uh, understood how the back end of Google search, right? it's a little bit more complicated. And uh, this is getting into the data scientist uh, terminology and uh, hope you've uh, understood a couple of things about how Google does its searches and some of the backhand algorithms. And uh, if, as always, click the li like button to like the video and click the red button to see more of the videos. Ta-ta from Shadi. Enjoy this video? Then must have a look at these videos.